The post-90s refers to people born between 1990 and 1999, now aged 21 to 31. According to a set of data recently released by China's Civil Affairs Department, there are currently about 170 million post-90s in China, with a male-to-female ratio of about 54 to 46. No more than 10 million pairs of post-90s will be registered for marriage in 2020. The marriage rate is only a little over 10%. Marriage and love life is not a necessity for me, but it's a necessity for my parents. And since it is a necessity for my parents, it, I'm probably going to need it. Many of us aren't in a rush to get married or have kids. It takes a lot of energy and money, and such decisions affect our living standards. Based on the conventional Chinese marriage age, 70 to 80 million of the post-90s should be married by now. This figure may now be a source of anxiety for the Chinese government amid a demographic crisis. According to China's state news agency Xinhua, only 8.131 million marriages were registered in 2020, down 12.2% from the previous year. It was the seventh consecutive year of decline and marks a decade-long low. Not only that, the divorce rate among the post-90s who are already married is surprisingly high at 35%. In China, many young people are now reluctant to get married, and more and more post-80s and post-90s see being single as a normal choice compared to their parents' generation. Phenomena such as, quote, not married in their 30s, end quote, are not unusual among young people. Chinese families are becoming more single, and the problem of an aging population is becoming more acute. A decline in the marriage rate directly affects fertility and birth rates, which in turn affects the overall population size and structure, and socioeconomic development. According to data published by the National Bureau of Statistics of China, from 1990 to 2017, the average age of first marriage for Chinese women of childbearing age has been delayed by more than four years, from 21.4 to 25.7 years, and continues to trend higher. What causes such a low marriage rate among the post-90s nowadays? Several analysts believe that the primary reason is that the income of the young group is too low and the cost of marriage and children is too high. Now 
This video, which was popular on the Chinese internet in early 2020, may be real or may be an act, but it reveals the real picture of the current marriage market in China. However, the woman cannot be blamed entirely. In contemporary China, where money worship is prevalent, the popular saying goes, quote, marriage is a woman's second birth, end quote. Marriage is likely to determine where women will be economically for the rest of their lives in society. Most of the post-90s population are the only child at home. If one gets married, one has to support both parents on their own. It means to support four elderly people, one, two, or even three children. Given today's consumption level, whether it's supporting the elderly or raising children, the associated cost can make most post-90s, quote, physically and mentally exhausted, end quote. The post-90s are a relatively young group. In addition to this group, a more comprehensive range of adults in China also face the problem of getting married. According to the mainland media, Isai.com, since 2013, the total number of marriages in China has been declining year after year, falling below the 10 million mark in 2019 at 9.273 million pairs. It is a 31.2% drop from 2013. The report said that high housing prices and high economic pressure in big cities had affected the age at which young people get married. 30-year-old Miss Li graduated from Dalian Jiao Tong University. She said that of the 30 students in her undergraduate class, about 20 are still unmarried. Of the four people in the graduate dormitory, three are unmarried. Quote, the main thing is the high price of housing. The pressure to buy a house is too much, end quote. Mr. Xu, who works in a small IT company in Hangzhou, is 32 years old and currently single. He intends to struggle for another year or two to buy a house before considering marriage. According to Xinhua, on February 14, 2021, the reporter visited central and northern China and other places and found that many rural older men are more awkward in the face of the marriage problem. In some rural areas, the cost of marrying a wife, which includes a car, a house, and a dowry, has soared to RMB 600,000 up to RMB 1 million. It has become the three mountains that some rural marriage-aged youths cannot carry. The report said that many rural people express that marriage has become a heavy burden for many villagers and even become the leading cause of debt in some rural families. Some villagers said that saving money for their sons to get married is their, quote, lifelong goal, end quote, but the money saved by fathers and sons after years of hard work is very often only enough to buy a house and other expenses have to rely on debt. Quote, in the village to get a daughter-in-law, the whole thing costs about RMB 1 million. It is hard to afford to marry. End quote. Some villagers have explained to reporters how many millions of RMB have been spent. Many rural women migrate to urban areas for work and end up settling down there. As a result, unmarried men outnumber the women eligible for marriage in the countryside. The real trouble for the Chinese government is the demographic crisis. China implemented the one-child policy in 1979, limiting couples to one child, resulting in a declining population and a rapidly aging society by 1999. In order to slow down the aging population, 
The Chinese government officially launched the two-child policy in 2015 and relaxed the fertility restrictions. However, the expected fertility boom has not occurred. According to the 7th National Consensus in 2020, the number of births in mainland China would be 12 million in 2020, the lowest number of births since 1960. On May 31, 2021, the Chinese government announced a three-child policy whereby a couple can have three children. However, Xinhua News Agency conducted a reader survey on the willingness to have three children. The poll was titled, Are You Ready for the Three-Child Birth Policy? In the poll, the vast majority of people chose not at all, while very few people chose ready to wait, on the agenda, or hesitant with many issues to be considered. The first issue that needs to be addressed before encouraging childbirth is the willingness to get married. If there is no will to get married, there is no way to talk about childbirth. There is another reason why China's marriage rate has significantly decreased. The same trend is also evident in the changes in family and marriage patterns in Chinese society over the past 30 years. With the emergence and growth of diverse forms of single-parent families, empty nest families, divorce, cohabitation, and singleness, in addition to nuclear families. In an era full of risks and pressures, yet celebrating individuality and diversity of existence, for the younger generation, getting married or not, has become a process to be weighed. The rich men in China expect to get younger and more beautiful wives, while the more educated women are less likely to be chosen by men of the same social class as they grow older, and they are not willing to marry men who are too far behind them. Hence the term, quote, leftover women, end quote, has emerged in China. This has created a group of people in China who are eager to get married, but cannot enter into marriage. An A-category man will look for B-category women. This makes it difficult for an A-category woman to find someone better. For this group, the most anxious are their parents. As the post-90s enter the conventional marriage age, a growing number of post-60s are joining the ranks of anxious parents who are particularly active in matchmaking for their children. <laughs> I'm like looking at a lot of people who are here for their sons and daughters. I'm wondering if my parents are going through the same thing. And I sincerely don't want to put them in the same position. The first time I felt like a little bit of anxiety in this matchmaking process was that uh, when I was uh, scrolling our, our company app and it has a dating page where people can post their photos and like, the requirements to look for the other half. However, like all the posts are from girls. In February 2021, the Chinese government publicly promoted marriage through the Spring Festival Gala, the biggest gala program of the year on national television. The program's title is Marriage Rushed at the Chinese New Year, and the theme of the program is like a couplet displayed in the program. Many single viewers have seen this and have expressed their disappointment and anger on the internet. One viewer wrote, Watching this program, I laughed with embarrassment, and then there was silence. I even felt that the silence of the family was somewhat deliberate. This festival holiday, I suddenly felt the state didn't care about us. Mm -hmm.